The Turkish French film we should be watching, which is the news goes that Herbert Mustang raises the twofold question of modern cultural memory, both in France and elsewhere in Europe. We'll take a closer look only at Armin Malou's French Lebanese modern novel Désiré very briefly. Uh, the title means The Disorientated Friends. Um, Malou tells the story of a group of regionally Lebanese friends who plan to have a reunion after several decades living in their respective new countries. However, the disorientation highlighted in the novel's title is more than a pun on their dispersion from the Middle Orient, talking about disorientation, containing uh, the Orient containing the Middle Eastern layer of these people's multiple identities. That disorientation is also used as a metaphor for the off-balancing experience on a collective level by Arabs and other migrants from Muslim-majority countries. Ce qui est certain, pour le bâtiment station, ce qui est certain, ce que cette succession de débats a progressivement déséquilibré le monde arabe, puis l'ensemble du monde musulman déséquilibré au sens politique et aussi au sens spirituel. On ne sort pas un d'elle d'une série d'humiliations publiques. Tous les Arabes portent les traces d'un traumatisme profond. Et je ne m'exclus pas du tout, mais ce traumatisme arabe, lorsqu'on le contente de l'autre rive, la rive européenne, la rive adoptive, le suscite de l'incompréhension et de la suspicion. Translation The failures has gradually made the Arab world feel off balance and the whole Islamic world, too. That is off-balance not only on the political plane, but also medically. Political humiliations leave scars. All Arabs bear traces of a deep trauma, including myself, on the other side of the sea, in my adopted land of Europe, this Arab trauma triggers just a far-reaching lack of trust and understanding and translation. Well, we will surely come back to Malouf's French immigrant cultural memory. We'll now move on um, to, um, to assess how this sense of disorientating identity, marked by collective cultural trauma, plays a part also in the film we're going to watch. It is worth noting that Erdogan's film, Mastan, as we discussed earlier today, this morning, does not confine its representation of trauma to the devastating effects of domestic violence surreptitiously justified by everyday nationalist and religious discourses. Clearly, there is a silver lining. Aunt Emine, in the film, breaks the TV cables in order to help Lala, little girl, and her sisters get away with their sneaky excursion to watch the Super League quarterfinals with the help of a truck driver, Yasin whose long hair, incidentally, makes his colleagues think he may not be straight, as it turns out in the little girl Lana's phone call to his company when the sisters are about to run away in the film's ending, this very Bluebeard-esque uh, fairy tale sort of style. But the wise young woman teacher the lab we discussed in the morning, Aunt Emina, and the truck driver uh, Yasin, much the Jungian archetypal demons or gods that help the self on its journey of individuation are coming to terms with the shadow of its traumas. As we surely be watching this film, it is worth concluding um, this, this, this overview we had today in our workshop by returning full circle to Malou's latest French language Margaret novel about a group of old friends who are disorientated on various individual and collective friends. The novel's tragic ending is exalted by the ancestral meanings associated with the protagonist's name, Adam, as he ends up in a coma as, as a result of the car crash. Um, the translation of the quote I have for you. Is, this is an alternative afterward that Adam never had the chance to write. Perhaps he was writing it in his head when he had his car crash. The answer, we have to wait until the day he wakes up, if he ever will. The doctors are two of us. They do say that he will long stay somewhere between life and death, before settling on either side 
Dolores, his wife, has moved him back down to a clinic in Paris. Always at his bed, she says, he is in a limbo, like his country, and like the planet, she adds, in a limbo, like us all, and the translation. Similarly, the film was done, intentionally raises more questions than its answers, precisely by stressing the liminality of identities formed at the present historical interstice of multiple traumas endured in Turkey and other Muslim-majority countries. This virtuous final overview on relevant features has mentioned some of the styles and subjects used to renegotiate cultural traumas and nostalgias. The film screening will come the day by displaying the unsolvable riddles of migrant identities. It's both on page and on screen. Thank you.